guys, welcome back to Bonus and Math Club. Today's topic is properties of zero. Are there supposed to be any properties of zero? Yes, there are, because a zero is a number that holds no value, okay? Whenever you're um, dealing with a zero in the number line, you have always have the zero in the middle. Why? Because zero is actually the starting point. That's where the positive numbers take over, and that's where the negative numbers take over. Okay, so today I'm going to be discussing with you the three properties of zero. The first property is about addition. Okay, so the property states that if you are to add any number by zero, you are to get the same number as the sum. Okay, and same goes for um, adding a zero by any number. You're still going to get the same number as the sum. So let's take the number three. Okay, and we have to add this with zero, right? Let me just make this clear. So 3, and you have to add this with 0. Now, the sum is going to be 3 itself, okay, because it probably says that, but why does it, um, the sum have to be 3? Because what you're really doing is you're taking a value, okay, the value of 3, and you're adding it with 0, and since 0 holds no value, there's nothing here. So you're actually just bringing down the 3 as it is, so you're making, uh, you're, so you're having the sum the same as the number, okay? Now you can also flip this over, okay? So we could say 0 plus 3, okay? And the, uh, the sum is going to be 3 itself. Why? Because, remember, 0 holds a value and 3 does hold a value. So you actually, you have nothing to do, um, uh, add the 3 by, so you're going to get the same number as the sum, so 3 is going to be the sum itself. So that's that for adding by 0. Now multiplication. The property of multiplication by, um, the property of multiplying by 0 states that if any number is to be multiplied by 0, the product is going to be 0 itself. And if any uh, and zero is to be multiplied by any number, the product is gonna zero itself as well. Okay, so let's take the number nine, and we have to multiply this by zero. The product is gonna be zero, and why is it gonna be zero? Because remember that number nine is a value, okay, and zero holds the value, so. 9 times nothing is nothing. You get nothing when you're multiplying it by nothing, right? So that's kind of may seem confusing, but just stay with the fact that any number times 0 is 0, okay? And you can also flip this over, so you can also say 0 times 9. And don't get confused because the product is going to be 0 again, because Remember, the same way, but just the opposite. Zero holds no value, but nine does. So multiplying nothing by nine gives you nothing, right? So that's how it works. So I use the number nine. Now you could use uh, bigger numbers, like uh, numbers in the billions, the millions, you know, so on, but just the product is gonna be still zero, okay? Now let's move on to division. Yes, you can divide a number by zero. But first, let's talk about dividing zero by a number. The property says that if you have, are to divide a zero by any number, the quotient is going to be zero itself. So let's take the uh, let's say, let's take zero and let's divide it. Let's divide it by five. So zero is going to be the dividend, and five is going to be the divisor. So what times 5 is going to be 0? Well, you know that any number times 0 is going to be 0, right? So we can just go and say 5 times 0 is 0. And we exit out, and we get the quotient as a 0. But what if you are dividing a number by 0? So what if you flip this over, and what if you say 5 divided by 0? Okay, so now we write this in division form. So 5 is a dividend, 0 is a divisor. Okay, now it gets kind of tricky because 0 times, uh, and like 0 can be multiplied by any number to get a value, okay, because 0 holds no value itself. So 0, we can just go ahead and do 0 times 0, okay, and we get 0, and then we get our, we subtract and we get 5 again. Okay, now we could just go ahead and say, 
you, you, you could have just said 0 times 1, but you're still going to get a 0, and you're still going to get 5 as a remainder. So you did, then you go again, okay, so 0 times 1 again, and you remember you get a 0, and you subtract, and you get 5 again. So it goes on forever and never and never, and that's where you're going to be introduced to infinity, okay? So a number of times divided by 0 is infinity, okay, so it goes on forever. So that's that for the properties of zero. Um, hope you got all the main ideas and the key facts. And uh, so that's that for this topic. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.